Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, Module 8, Lesson 2, Reflections. After this lesson, you need to be able to describe reflections of figures on the coordinate plane using coordinates and coordinate notation. Let's learn. Reflections on a coordinate plane. A reflection is a mirror image of the original figure. It's the result of a transformation of a figure across a line called the line of reflection. A reflection is our second type of transformation. In the previous lesson, we saw a translation. So this is going to somehow change the shape from the pre-image into an image. When we're reflecting, every point on the pre-image and the image are the same distance from the line of reflection. And just like with translations, the image and pre-image of a reflection are congruent. There are many different things we can reflect over, and the important thing to remember is that they are the same distance from that line of reflection. So here we can see if we were to reflect over the x-axis or the y-axis, notice it's the same distance, so that, so that bottom line segment yz was three units above the line of the reflection. If we look at the reflected part, it is now three units below the line of reflection. Or here we have three units to the left, and three units to the right. It's the same distance from that line of reflection. So when we're drawing reflections, that's gonna be an important thing to remember. We can also reflect a figure across other lines. For example, here we have the reflection of triangle XYZ across this reflection line of Y equals two. It still follows the same where it was one unit away here, so it's one unit away here. It'll be the same distance away. Coordinate X is four units above, so x prime must be four units below. We're doing the same as if it was an axis, just from a different line. Example one, reflect figures on the coordinate plane. The graph of triangle ABC is shown. Graph the image of triangle ABC after a reflection across the x axis, write the coordinates of the image. So if we're reflecting this, we want it to go across the x axis so when we're doing reflections, that's going to be our first step is to show where the line of reflection is so that we know what we're flipping our shape over. Here, if we're trying to graph our image, so from our pre-image, we can look at how far away our pre-image is from our line of reflection. So again, here was our line of reflection. A is two units above, so A prime must be two units below. B was three units above, so B prime must be three units below. C, one unit above, so C prime is one unit below. Once we have those three new points, then we can draw our shape here. As we did with translations, once we've reflected our figure, we now need to be able to write our coordinates of our image. So A went from five to, now it's at five, negative two. B was at 1, 3, now it's at 1, negative 3. C was at negative 1, 1, now it's at negative 1, negative 1. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and answer both parts. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. So first, let's graph. There's your original coordinates. We got P at 1, 5, Q at 3, 7, and R at 4, negative 1. If we're graphing its image after a reflection across the y-axis, so here's our y-axis, we want to reflect it across that. So if we're graphing P across one unit apart, so P one unit apart should be there. Q three units away, so make it three units away there. And R four units away, so four units away. If we plot, we have those three things. And if we were to graph it just to show it a little bit better, it would look like these. So here's our pre-image. Here is our image before, after. What are the coordinates of our image? We should see that P prime is at negative one five, Q prime is at negative three seven, and R prime is at negative four, negative one. So again, the key here is everything in the pre-image is the same distance away from the line of reflection as the image is. Example two. Reflect figures on the coordinate plane. The graph of triangle EFG is shown. Graph the image of triangle EFG after a reflection across the line x equals 3. Write the coordinates of the image. So the process to this is the same as if we were going over an axis. 
we just have to graph our line of reflection in a more precise location. So x equals 3 is our line. That's our vertical line through x is 3. We're going to reflect over that line. So point E is one unit to the left, so E prime must be one unit to the right. G is one, two, three, four, five, six units to the left, so six units to the right, G prime must be there. And then F was three units, so three units to the right. We can plot those points and our image would look like this. So here we would have E prime, down here we would have F prime, and here we would have G prime. Again, once we have our image, we can write our coordinates for that image. So E was at 2, 4. E prime is now at 4, 4. We just took the coordinate where it was. F was down here at 0, negative 2, so now it is at 6, negative 2. And for G, we are now at 9, 2. So 9 spaces over from the origin, 2 spaces up. Be careful when you are figuring out the coordinates on these. The origin 0, 0 is over here. Please make sure you are counting and figuring out your coordinate from that point, not from your line of reflection. That is not 0, 0. That is actually a 3, 0. So please just be careful. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and complete each part. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. First, let's graph our line of reflection right there at y equals negative 2, so y-intercept of negative 2. All the points are at negative 2. Let's graph our pre-image. So we would have A at negative 3, negative 3, B at negative 1, negative 5. So let's label those A, B, and C at 1, negative 4. Let's reflect it. A is 1 below, so A prime would be 1 above. B is 3 below, B prime 3 above. C, 2 below, so C prime would be 2 above. If we plot those and connect it, we can see our image is a reflection over that line. It's the same shape, same size, just flipped. So it looks correct so far. Then let's write our coordinates for our image. A is here, so A prime is right here. That is at negative 3, negative 1. B prime is up here, so negative 1, 1 and C prime is here at 1 and 0. Let's learn. Reflect using coordinates. This shows triangle ABC and its image after a reflection across the x-axis. Here we can see in our picture, here's our line of reflection across the x-axis. Every point is there, flipped down over that axis. Let's look at what happened to the coordinates. So A was at 1, 2, A prime is at 1, negative 2. B was at 2, 4. B prime is at 2, negative 4. C was 4, 1, so C prime is 4, negative 1. For reflections, one of the coordinates is going to stay the same, and one of them is going to be the opposite. So if you notice here, the x coordinate for each of these stayed the same, while the y coordinates are the opposites. So 1 stayed 1, 2 became negative 2. That is how it's going to work for coordinate notation and with coordinates for reflection. So one will be the same, one will be the opposite. If it's reflected across the x-axis, the x-coordinate will stay the same and the y will be the opposite. We can look at what happens if it reflects across the y-axis. Our coordinates, a was 1, 2, now it's negative 1, 2. b was 2, 4, now it's negative 2, 4. c was 4, 1, now it's negative 4, 1. Again, one of the coordinates stayed the same, one was the opposite. This time, the x-coordinate is the opposite. When we reflect over the y-axis, the y is going to stay the same, and the x will be the opposite. So our coordinate notation would appear like this. Our coordinate goes to the opposite of this coordinate and the same y. Putting this together, a reflection across the x-axis, the x-coordinate is the same, y coordinate is opposite. So x is the same, y was opposite. Negative y means opposite of y. For the y axis, the y coordinate is the same and the x is the opposite. So we can see that down here. y is the same and the negative in front of x showing that it was the opposite. Again, if you're trying to remember which is which, the axis you're reflecting across 
that coordinate is going to stay the same. The other one will be the opposite. Example three, reflect using coordinates. Triangle RST has coordinates R at 2, 1, S, negative 1, 3, and T, negative 2, 0. The triangle is reflected across the x-axis. Write the coordinate notation for a reflection across the x-axis, then write the coordinates of triangle R prime, S prime, T prime. So part A, let's write the coordinate notation for reflection across the x-axis. It's important to pay attention to which axis. When it's reflected across the x-axis, the x-coordinate remains the same. So again, whichever axis, that coordinate stays the same, which means the y-coordinate will then be the opposite. If we're writing this in coordinate notation, we would show x is the same, and then a negative in front of y to show that it is the opposite. Using that coordinate notation, so same x opposite of y, we can write our new coordinates without having to graph it. So same x, r prime would be at 2 for x, they're the same, and then if this is positive 1, the opposite would be negative 1. For s, negative 1 would stay the same, opposite of 3, so negative 3. Negative 2 would be same, negative 2, and then opposite of 0, there is no opposite, so it's just 0. And these would be my new coordinates of my image. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and answer both parts. Pause the video now and complete this check. Check your answer. So first, coordinate notation. Because we are reflecting across the y-axis, the y stays the same, and the x is the opposite. So if we're writing our coordinates, y is going to stay the same, and stays 1. For our x-coordinates, opposite, so negative 2 becomes positive 2, positive 1 becomes negative 1, negative 1 becomes positive 1, negative 5 becomes positive 5. And if we put our commas in between, there's our new coordinates. So 2, 4, negative 1, 4, 1, 1, and 5, 1. Example 4. Describe reflections. The coordinates of triangle EFG and its image are shown. We have E at 4, 5, and E prime is at 4, negative 5. F is at 2, 2. F prime is at 2, negative 2. G, 5, 1. G prime, 5, negative 1. Describe this transformation using words. So when we're doing this, we need to look closely at our coordinates. Something happened to them. In this lesson, we know that it's going to be a reflection. But going forward, after we've looked at each type, you might have to figure out what happened to it based on the coordinates, and it could be any of the types of transformations. So here we notice our x-coordinate is the same, but our y-coordinates are opposites. So if our x-coordinate is the same, but our y is opposite, that would mean that we reflected it over the x-axis, since that was the one that stayed the same. We could write this in coordinate notation as same x opposite y. And in words, this would be a transformation as a reflection of our triangle across the x-axis. Check your understanding. Describe the transformation using words. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. If we look closely here, the x-coordinates are the same, but the y-coordinates are opposites. So in our coordinate notation, we would say from our original coordinate, we have same x opposite of y. And what transformation then happened? If it's the same x, it must have reflected over the x-axis. So it would have been reflecting down over that x-axis to get the same x in a different y. So this would be a reflection over the x-axis.